Noodle, 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 as usual. Good afternoon. Welcome to TGIF. <coughs> so I hope you can hear me coughing away. I've been talking too much. I shouldn't have done this afternoon session. <laughs> so. Tram, you've just asked, hi Lynn, it was yesterday, am I right? What was yesterday and what are you trying to be right about? <laughs> Ask me if I hang up. And if, yes, and from, from, if, from this afternoon if, session. <laughs> you should have written that you mean the, uh, our last uh, Skype session. No, 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 from, from today's Skype session, yeah? Yes. Yes, yes. did you hang up? And... Uh, yeah, and uh, I am. I'm. Um, I said it, it can't be me. <laughs> so <this> okay, <laughs> good. April, have you checked? Is somebody still on the call? Yeah, it's still it's still green. It's still oh, uh, yeah, no. it's still open. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've hung up, so it's not me. I've I've actually disconnected Skype because I'm on this session now, so I don't want to use up my bandwidth. Oh, well, we'll never know. So, Namiri, I tried to invite you in before. Um, it didn't work, but I'll try to invite you in again, okay? So, fingers crossed, everybody. See what happens. Anyway, it's TGIF. It's Friday, and we've got a new um, sign, if you notice. Can anybody read out what the new sign says? Three to Ooh. one weekend. Yay! <laughs> and not Excellent. just weekend. This is countdown to my holiday. I'm on holiday next week and the week after. Keep an eye on the calendar. Calendar. Like, calendar. Lucky you. Yeah, I know. Well, um, it's not on the calendar yet because we were sorting out the details last night. Uh, Zom and I in Speakeasy. And hopefully Zom is going to be running uh, at least one quiz in Kitely. So 20 questions, yeah. And a TGIZ, not a TGIF session, a TGIZ session. But keep an eye on the calendar. I'll put the links in there once we've sorted out the dates because I got a bit confused um, and so did Zom. But she sent me an email. I just haven't had time to read it and change the calendar yet. So I'll do that before I go away. But, uh, and if anybody else wants to step in to run a session, uh, please say aye. Um, keep an eye on the calendar also for Marion's sessions uh, because she'll be taking three sessions next week and the week after. So Monday morning, Wednesday evening, and hopefully Friday afternoon if she gets her mess sorted out. Okay? Okay. Any questions? Uh, you know, what happened with me the last 20 minutes after the Skype? I what? cut my finger. No. Yeah. A, a, a little bit about a, a little bit of skin of the skin on my thumb. Uh, uh, cutting the French bread. Oh no, your hummus and bread. Yeah. Oh, and bless then, you. I and then I wanted to use the, my other laptop. I think I have opened it the last uh, few days, and I got a message from the Advanced System Care. That is, I think, some kind of uh, firewall from. Uh, from uh, somewhere, I don't know. I got it from uh, the uh, original, originally when I bought the laptop. And it says, uh, massive ransomware breaks out. Uh, and then the, uh, with the uh, great, big, big, uh, frightening letters. Oh. And, uh, yeah. And then it said, uh, uh, P uh, protect yourself from WannaCry ransomware. Uh, um, update your Windows firewall and fix some something like that. But it doesn't. I, I hope it doesn't mean that I was uh, affected, Elin. 
Well, I know that, well, at the moment, because of what happened this week um, and the big hack all across the world, really, and it was a worldwide hack, wasn't it, that there's a lot of messages going out. But that, that sounds suspicious in itself to me. I hope you didn't click on anything. Watch out. Yeah. Are you getting the same warning sort of feeling I am, Oscar? That you no, don't click on anything. No. <laughs> but you must always be suspicious about those kind of uh, uh, messages, oh, oh, taking oh. advantage of the situation, actual oh. current situation. Hello, Namiri. Uh, bye, uh, you. You. Finally. Excellent. <laughs> 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 It took you long enough to get here, but you made it, which is great. We're just talking about April's scary message on her laptop. Um, the best thing to do is to ignore any buttons or links in the message and then run your um, virus scanner <laughs> and go to any messages it's, or any updates yourself. Update your drivers, update your operating system, but do it manually. Don't just messages through your computer at this moment in time. Right. I generally think, as, to be honest, April, this particular hack has been aimed at older computers that are still running what they call legacy systems. Do you know what a legacy system is? In the computer, no? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's often linked to... Yeah. Yes, it is, it is also in the iPhone, laptop, all... all um, uh, electronic yeah material. everything but yes, everything on the cry the, the the reason it was so effective in the um nhs is a lot of nhs equipment so scanners and um heart monitors and things like that they're still running on old software and it's really expensive you can do updates of course for operating systems but to replace a whole scanner just for the updated operating system you know, that's a huge financial burden so they are running a lot of these older computers i think april if you're keeping your computer up to date and i know you do you complained the other week 15 minutes of update um, <laughs> i think you're relatively okay just don't click on anything that looks suspicious or that's from somebody you don't know and even if it's from somebody you know but it's not the sort of thing they normally send you don't click on anything it's just yeah. a shame. It, takes it, the it, happened, the internet. it happened just, uh, it was uh, last Friday when the, the, the uh, WannaCry ransomware broke out. I think out. that's when it broke out, yeah. yeah. And the next day I got a, an email from uh, the daughter of a friend of mine. He, uh, she lives in America, but she never sent me any, any mails. And suddenly I got it. And it said um, an invitation for the uh, for the birthday of uh, her mother, so my friend then, for her mother in October. So I think uh, I, I didn't think of the virus at that moment. So I click on that invitation, and it didn't open. And then at that moment, I said, "Oh, maybe it, <laughs> maybe this is a virus. This is maybe the water crisis." That's the awful <laughs> thing, isn't it? <laughs> They're taking all the fun out of being online. It's like muggers taking all the fun out of going out at night, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was uh, uh, true last week after the problem with uh, the WannaCry. Uh, my, my computer was very uh, yeah, strange. Every time I had to click twice before I can open the site or or something else I said, so i was thinking oh maybe i was affected but now it's okay again but uh, that time uh, also uh, just a, a website from the newspaper it didn't open and normally it's open in, uh, in at once yeah, you uh, might find that other websites are being affected and uh, if, okay. not, if not that they're updating the systems and that we had a message uh, we've had our server updated uh, nothing we could do about it. We couldn't say, no, we don't want you to. And I've had loads of messages, you know, update this, update that. So the whole of the internet's in a bit of a tiz at the moment, trying to, uh, I don't think, fix this ransomware thing, but trying to make sure it doesn't actually get any further. But, uh, yeah, it's, it was, oh, I can't believe, I, I couldn't believe, well, I could believe it, of course. You can believe anything of uh, folk, but, um, yeah, it was 
a disappointing moment for humanity, shall we put it that way? <laughs> well, uh, it's a, unfortunately, it's a very common uh, thing that happens. Uh, you know, an idea. If, we, if we take this virus, how to fix it? Okay, so yeah, one at one at a time. Oscar, you were saying, yeah, that these uh, kind of attacks are very common, but we don't know about them because uh, they don't affect as much as many people as uh, this last one. But this is very very common, and well, uh, the the main point to to take into account is not to open any messages from uh, unknown senders and don't follow any links and don't open any um, I don't know how to say attachment. files attachment yes those are the main recommendations yeah yes it's sad but it's true um, it looks like why do they do that uh, in what why do they do what April why do they do ransomware or why do they hack computers? Money. Yeah, no, why do they <laughs> hack computer? Yeah. Why do they <laughs> uh, money? Money, money, money. It makes the world go round, didn't you know? <laughs> I wonder how many they, uh, how many money how much money they uh they earned the last uh, few weekends because uh, every time they they were they asked for three hundred dollars in Bitcoin. Three hundred dollars. Yeah, seemingly, seemingly. But um, I don't know how much they actually made out of it. I doubt we'll ever know because if they made a lot, they won't um, tell anybody uh, because they won't, you know, the powers that be won't want that information out in case it encourages other people to think, hey, that's a great way of uh, making money. Um, and if they didn't make much, they won't tell anybody because they wouldn't want to look foolish. <laughs> Yeah, it's a difficult but one. Not only money. Mo uh, most of the hardest hackers, black ha hackers uh, in the history of computers, uh, after serving uh, prison sentences, uh, they are now the boss of the security division of the uh, large companies. That's very true. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the old saying. Do you know this saying? It takes no? a to catch a thief. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the best person to ask to catch a thief yes. is another thief because that's how they. I mean, I don't think like they do. I just don't think like that. So you can't, you can't catch them because you can't think like them. <laughs> they, they've proven that they are the best at challenging their systems. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I think partly, you know, it's sometimes it's a bit of a, um, it's a sort of young thing. They don't think through the potential consequences of what they do, you know, including nuclear meltdown and people dying. You know, they just think they're yeah. being clever. But it's a shame. It's a shame. Now, I did do a little um, image for it, but I can't find it. So... I think, I think it's been taken down by Facebook. <laughs> I also have to say something to this. Go on. Um, a few, it's a few months ago, I opened my uh, my, il, my uh, mail, uh, my mail uh, account, and then I saw um, a mail that looks as if my uh, my bank ha had sent me something. It was the same icon, really the same, the same color. Everything was so original. But anyway, something in me said that there is something wrong. And then I called up my bank and, and asked them if they have sent me um, 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 a message. And they said no. And I shouldn't open it. And I, did, I didn't it, of course. But um, it, was, it was made so perfectly that one click and I would have I would have been in 
Yeah. yeah, no, this is the thing. And they are getting, once upon a time, it was sort of badly written, really bad grammar. You knew it wasn't from your bank, but they, you know, the big guys are in on it now. They're thinking, oh, easy money, we'll have some of that. And, you know, they, they take literally a snapshot of the website sometimes and they can recreate the whole website. And even if you phone the number that they send in the email, they'll say, oh, yes, um, yes, please do, it's a security check. The only way to protect yourself, don't use the information in any email, no links, no attachments, check with your bank directly. Yeah, phone the number that's on your card, not the number in the email. And um, even then you never know, maybe they've hacked the phone lines. Mm -hmm. But I doubt they do that just for what you've got in the bank, Hermina, unless there's something you're not telling us. <laughs> but mm -hmm. that, was, that was the image I came up with when I heard about the NHS hack you know because I was so angry I was like what kind of and at first I wanted to do that blobfish I don't know if do you know what I mean by the blobfish no oh it's really um ugly 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 fish there's a there's a blobfish literally that's, I think that's what it's, it's actually called I've never seen a blobfish Mm, no. Oh, one wonderfully ugly thing. Hang on. Here you go. Um, Maybe, okay. I could know, I just say, suggest if you are of a sensitive, sensitive disposition, close your eyes now. Okay. <laughs> no, no. I mean it. This is a blobfish. After this. After call. Okay. So that's actually a fish. And I thought about using that as the uh, image. And then I thought, well, no, you can't really because it is a blob. So I, this is actually a naked mole rat. I don't know if you've heard of the naked mole rat, but they do yeah. exist. Uh, they are naked. They look exactly like that. Um, and they're being investigated by scientists because they live a very, very, very long time. But I always think, well, if that's the price of living a long time, <laughs> you've got to go around mm. looking like that. I'll pass. <laughs> 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 Lynn, that's an awful pick. Yes, I know. Sorry, April. <laughs> I did warn you. <laughs> but they're, they're just creatures that live on this planet. We share the planet with them. The other one, if you like ugly animals, I think it's called the hagfish. Um, and that, that's also just, and then of course, if you remember Joe, April, can you remember Joe, Joe Crespo from Portugal? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You remember him and his blooming eels? Oh, eels oh, yeah. too. Oh, those eels. Oh my goodness. They were like something out of alien. I can even lamprey, lamprey eels. Do you know those? Are they a special delicacy in your country, um, Oliver? Lamprey eel. Who is Oliver? Oscar? Oh, I meant Oscar. What am I getting Oliver for? Yeah, Oscar. Do you know lamprey eels? Yeah, I know. Country? Yeah? Uh, do you it eat rings them? A bell. It rings a bell, actually. Okay. Ah, just, there was one member, he, he's, he's still around, but he's uh, working abroad now. And uh, he would go on about how delicious this wonderful stew was. So in my innocence, I decided to look up the lamprey and what I found was it was enough to give you nightmares truly give you nightmares um, because they're, they're just like aliens um, and they, they are bloodsuckers they are vampire yeah. fish you know yeah. oh, and they make stew <laughs> yeah the whole our session about lamprey. Uh, well, that was my 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 foolishness. I gave him the presentation hour, didn't I? <laughs> Although he did take us to some nice places around Portugal too. Yeah. Can you remember that, Hermina? Yeah. Oh, is Trump still with us? Yeah, you can. Good. Okay, so um, <laughs> on that note. I'm hoping you've all updated your systems and you're being extra careful out there on the wild, wild web. <laughs> I think that's what we should start calling it now, not the not World Wide Web, the wild, wild the web. <laughs> you know the wild, wild, wild west. west? Yeah, the wild, wild west? Yeah. <laughs> it's the wild, wild web now. Hey, it's tough out there. 
But so would you? That's, that's, this is an interesting question, actually. Would you pay the ransom? No, maybe we shouldn't do that on an open streamed <laughs> session. Mm -hmm. yeah. I personally, I don't think I would. I'd just let everything go and start again. Because I think once you pay the ransom, it's like an encouragement. I mean, some, some um, countries don't pay ransom for kidnappings. So should you pay a ransom for a computer program? or a computer, or a website, maybe not, maybe not, maybe that's the way to stop it. It is not for a computer program, it is for the whole system, the computer. No, I know, the computer, yeah, but £300 or a new computer. Well, actually, well, actually, if you have a backup copy or you install another hard disk drive, that's all, because the problem yeah, is in... Do a, um, what do you call it, it's a mirror, yeah. You do a mirror. I've, we've got a mirror of yeah. our system as well that backs up. Um, so I think if you've got really important um, stuff on your computer, things that you don't want to lose, you should always back up. And mm. onto more than one hard drive. You're right, Oscar. Absolutely. But then you can use your computer again without problem after that? You have to do a complete new install and then oh, okay. restore the system that wasn't so compromised. Imagine you have two pencils, one in the drawer and the other one breaks. Then take the other from the drawer and you have a new, completely new pencil again. But what do you do with the broken pencil? Do you show? Yeah, yeah. Your computer is not broken. <laughs> it's not a new one. It's a broken one when it is affected. Okay, but if you find a proper glue, you can fix it. But if you cannot find it, you can use the pencil, the spare pencil in your drawer. So you you mean buy a new computer? <laughs> no, no. Just let's say uh, I don't know. 50, I think maybe the the pencil. The pencil analogy doesn't work that well. But no. maybe if you've got one of those rotating pencils. You know, where you can just change the lead in the pencil. And you've still yeah. got the pencil, but you've got a new lead in there. Uh -huh. okay. Is that a better analogy? <laughs> well, I can give you I can give you give you some numbers to to see the the magnitude of, of this. Uh, for example, a hard disk drive can can be bought by around fifty pounds more or less. For this money, you can uh, get a copy of your system, operating system, so that you can save it, keep it in your drawer. And just in case the one is inside the computer case breaks because of the virus or whatever, you can replace it with a spare hard disk drive in your drawer by just around 50 euros, 50 pounds. Okay, yeah. But I use a laptop, uh, so I can't. Do that. Yes, you can. You can have an external hard drive. You, oh, yeah, that's you, do right. have to, you do have to have a backup policy, though. So you do have to back up regularly, um, and you have to make sure you back up with, without any infection on your computer. But it doesn't or, matter. It doesn't matter. Your, yeah, it doesn't matter if it is a laptop. Put it upside down, and you'll see some screws and a drawing telling you that be, beneath. Underneath that, there is a hard disk drive or the RAM memory. So you can replace it easily as well. Yeah, it's becoming less easy, Oscar. If you look at some of the new computers, it's like you can't even change your own battery anymore. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, true. yeah that's right. That's right. But there is I always, that, there is always a it. way to get to the hard disk drive. Good to know. Good to know. Good but, advice. I'm sure Aladdin will be covering this as well. I'd be very surprised if you didn't cover this on Ask Aladdin. But I have the impression, or in my in my imagination, if something affected my affect my uh, computer, it's not only that computer, but the whole system, the whole the cables, the router, and and uh, uh, the, uh, the communication with this. I the, don't the think server, anybody's no? figured out how to infect your cables yet, April. When they do, serious <laughs> <they're laughs> <in> trouble. <laughs> in my house, actually. Well, you saw that image, didn't you, in, in Facebook, April? Yeah. Yeah. 
Right. I don't know if you've seen it, Oscar. On Maybe Facebook. they distribute uh, lamprey viruses. Yeah, through all the Internet of Things, it became the Internet of Ransomware. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was very funny. <laughs> I thought it was very clever. But it is but now, Elliot. We're getting. The hmm? ransomware now uh, affect now the the whole whole household. household. No, not yet. Yeah. But there are instances where um, these sort of internet connected devices that are kind of low tech internet devices, and they're sitting behind an open router quite often. So one of the things you can do is secure your router. So many people don't change the password on their router and things like that. That you just make sure you've, you know, you've got it on good security. And then, um, but they've got things like, I don't know, baby monitors and even fire alarms now and stuff. And what they found is they're using those for uh, widespread denial of service attacks. Just a tiny little program into the tiny little chip sometimes it's a blackberry chip that kind of thing um and then that's being part of this widespread denial of service attack um not so much actual viruses as such but um and i don't think there's been any baby monitor <laughs> ransomware yet but it's gonna happen you know it's going to happen yeah. <laughs> I, I heard yesterday that even cars connected to the internet could be controlled I mean the brake and the, the and everything from the car, depending on the uh, on the uh, grade of uh, technology implemented okay. in okay, the car. I know sometimes and sometimes I'm not hearing anything. Okay, sometimes I think you've got a bit of a wobbly connection, Namiri. Go on. What would you like to say? <laughs> but I think that is. Uh... The technology devices has advantage and disadvantage. Advantage uh, now we see the disadvantage is more about this hacking. Yeah, you're right. I mean, would we want to give up the internet? That's one way to stay safe. <laughs> Just get off the internet, <laughs> close down your computers. We can go back to writing letters and having pen pals, maybe. <laughs> This is what has what's happening uh, in those hospitals. Yeah, they had to go back to, and that's why you should always have the ability, you know, as an emergency level, at an emergency level. And one thing this has done for the UK, apart from saying to the NHS, uh, hello, uh, IT systems, don't you think you'd be better off monitoring what software is on your computers and who's accessing your computers? Um, but also just to say, you know, to make people more internet savvy, more aware. Uh, you know, I always recommend people to know a little bit about how your computer works and about firewalls and about um, HTML and URLs, you know, just, just to be like learning the rules of the road. You wouldn't get in a car and drive without passing your driving test. Maybe we need a, an internet test. <laughs> yeah. Just to protect people. Oh, did you hear about the latest one? HSBC, allegedly. Um, they've brought out an, I mean, I don't like um, accounts that use fancy stuff because I'm always like, oh, what? They, they've said they're going to use access to the their bank account through your voice. Okay. And somebody's already broken it. Uh, the twin of a customer okay um was able to fool the system and gain access to his brother's bank account because his twin mimicked his voice and they said it was secure just like your fingerprint your voice print is unique <laughs> oh. oh yeah that came out today on the bbc that was just like wow nothing is secure nothing no, no. And I said about um, writing letters, you know, and putting them in an envelope. Well, that's not secure because we all know that people have steamed other people's letters open before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think we just have to accept that it's a risky world that we're living in. Yes, of course. I just hope it happens to somebody else and not us. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's maybe not the nicest thought I've ever had. <laughs> 
Oh dear. So has anybody else seen anything? Oh, April, yeah? No, it was me, Lynn. Oh, sorry. I just heard a little squeak. <laughs> Not that I'm saying April is squeaky. Oh, you. <laughs> Trout, yes, take the mic. I was asking for the microphone. Uh, it's the um, computer is not alone the dangerous thing. Have you ever heard about the the uncle uncle trick, where uh, um, uh, people get uh, old, especially old people get phone calls from uh, a, um, allegedly a niece or a, a nephew or so, and the the uh, the aunt or so or, or grandma even. Uh, uh, the um, the young people who call um, ask they have problems and they would need money and they make it they they have so they have, they are so um, how shall I say it uh, so false that the old people uh, say a name from a, from a family uh, member. And then the other person on the telephone knows what person is the niece or nephew. And then the old people, yes, of course, my my dear, uh, what what uh, Richard, uh, I will give you money. Have you ever heard of, about this in Germany? It's very famous, and lots yeah, of people, and in the UK, I'm afraid, yes, in the UK as well. Uh huh. That is, it's it's a phone call. It's a it's a phone. It's not the. Um, the internet or something else it's it's the phone it's the self it's the phone it's also dangerous yeah absolutely i mean the thing to do is um just say don't worry don't worry i'm coming right over <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. no just send money no 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 you obviously can't cope i'm a, i'm on my way <laughs> yes, but the old people maybe have i know i know that's why we have to look after our elderly yeah. And and they say and they are so naughty and say you don't you you uh, you you must you mustn't um, say it to anyone. They they are the old people get uh, in uh, in uh, how shall I say it? they uh, they are they shouldn't uh, keep their mouth and speak to nobody about about their uh, nephew or niece has a problem. And that's the trick. And the man, they even even showed the man um, who uh, invented this method. He lived, now he is in prison, but there are lots of other people do the same. And he lived a wonderful, rich life with, with the money from the old people. I think he was Turkish. Um, yeah, but, you know, as you say, he's in prison now. And if he'd put that ingenuity into doing something that would maybe help people, uh, he might be living a good life and not living in prison now. And it's it's not even about if he got away with it. It's about, you know, when you're later in life, you're old yourself and you suddenly realise what you did, you know, and it just must come home to you. I'd rather get... You know, I'd, I'd rather live a, a quiet life and have a clean conscience, to be honest. <laughs> I'd hate to be like, I'd think, oh, no, all the bad things I've done. And, you know, what if I meet all these people in the afterlife? <laughs> They'll all be after me. <laughs> no, I'd rather think, oh, well, I did what I could. And, yeah, I was reasonably well behaved in my time on Earth. I had some fun, but I don't think I went out of my way to hurt. I'd rather die like that. Thank you very much. <laughs> but they will, they will think differently. They will have a good, uh, rich life. And at the end of their life, maybe a short time, then okay, then I feel bad. But, but Ah, but you have to remember this, Hermina. Even if you don't believe in the afterlife, you are a long time dying. Think about your dreams, yeah? I don't know if you have very vivid dreams, but in your dreams, um, they've, they've worked out that the dream sequence lasts seconds in real time, but in your dream, it can be days and weeks. So imagine that sequence in the, the amount of time it takes you to die. Then I'd rather go thinking, yay, fluffy thoughts and pink bunnies. Uh, what will they say on your funeral, at your funeral, you, name, you mean, at my funeral? 
Who says I'm having a funeral? I there's some know. things that I don't want to hear. Oh, in. <laughs> Even if I if I'm already dead. <laughs> I, yeah. don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if the if because uh until now I, I have the impression that if somebody's died if somebody died uh in on at the funeral at the funeral everybody will say good things about that person. But uh, I don't want they that they say something good about me if they don't mean it. Eh? Even on my, uh, even at my funeral, I don't want that. So, so I don't want to. The, I, so I think I don't want to have anybody on my funeral. At my funeral. Uh, at my funeral. <laughs> You're in the coffin. <laughs> at <laughs> your funeral. <laughs> have a wake. I think a wake is much more fun. A party. And they can say what they want about me when I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I had a funny one today on YouTube. Um, let's see if I can find it. It was on my, my personal YouTube account that I used to use before I got a, a Learn English Network YouTube account. And, ah, oh dear. Now, what, what did this guy say? I'll find it for you. Because it would probably be surprised that it's actually online. Um, it's, it's one of the reasons why I don't allow open comments on many of the things that we put out there. I'll, I'll still allow the comments through, but some of them I just delete because I'm like, oh, go away. Uh, but this one was quite amusing, so I put it through. Now, let me find it. Ah, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. It's not in Absolute Beginners, it's in the how to somewhere. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see. Oh, no, this is the Learn English Network one. I want my one. See, this is why I've got my own one now rather than using the Learn English Network on my account. It gets too confusing. And I will have to take these old ones down, I think, because some of them are so out of date. But this one, ah, uh, where is it? Uh, they also say my Facebook uh, also... also um... Up to, out of date in, yeah. in my smartphone. <laughs> I have to update it, but uh, I don't care. But I don't know how to update it in my smartphone. Um, well, it's the same as anything else, April. You need to update. You do need to update it. Yes. I don't need it. I don't need a Facebook in my smartphone. But uh, oh, I see. No, like no. You do if you want to use messaging. You do if you want to use messaging. Sorry, but you do. Okay. Um, if if you don't want to use messaging, you don't need to. Okay. So. Um, So anyway, the um, but if you want to send messages on your smartphone using the Facebook app, then yes, you'll need to have that downloaded and updated. Oh, I, I don't do so much with my gadgets. Sorry. Wow, you are so good at it. <laughs> you would laugh if you would see my my cell phone. It's an old phone. Ah. <laughs> But I am I am satisfied with it. We have a good um we can we get on very well. <laughs> good. Oh here you go, here it is. So somebody called Speedy Vulcan. It's impossible to join Skype community. Ruffle. They're just kidding us. That's why they like dislike is disabled. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. I'm like, well, if it's impossible to join, how come people join every day? <laughs> oh, dear. So I, I basically said, no, not true. But no, you can't just join it. <laughs> you can't just go on Skype and get into the into the session. You have to be a forum member. But yeah, that's the kind of thing, you know, you don't, that's the kind of comment I get. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, 
Tramwell, you just said you mean they will find good words. Yeah. You mean I, they'll say good things about you is what you meant. I think you meant. You mean they will say good things about you. I was thinking uh, on a funeral and yep. nobody is uh, meant, especially here from the forum, I meant if you're a good person, if you had been a good person or you had been a bad person, they will find good words at the end or the, at the at the end of your life and especially at your funeral, at your, at your yeah. funeral. At your funeral, yes. Yeah, they'll, they'll say good things about you. Good words is like, I mean, what's a bad word? A swear word? <laughs> So words are just words, but if they say good things about you or they'll say nice things about you, then um, that's what we would normally say, rather than the word concentrating on good words. I mean, what's a good word? I don't oh, know. TGIF is a good word. <laughs> My favourite word. <laughs> the weekend. That's a good word. Holiday. I was, I, was, word. <laughs> I was thinking too much in German. Good, would yeah, be... I know. But I think um, April's, April's uh, set okay. you off as well. <laughs> no, no uh, Mary. Can I say that uh, you are a good teacher? Well, I do. My, I mean, what's a good teacher? It's like... What's a bad teacher? It depends on what you enjoy. I mean, some people would say... I'm a bad teacher in that I don't teach much. Ah. <laughs> mm. It's true. I, I, I think there's lots of ways of learning. I mean, I do a little bit of teaching. Um, a very but, good teacher. Well, because you enjoy what I do. But other people, they prefer to be you know, a bit more spoon-fed, word by word, word of the day, uh, sentence of the week. <laughs> paragraph of the month. I'm not really into that. Uh, it's not what I do. So that might mean some people would think I'm a rubbish teacher, but that's that's their perspective. They're allowed to think that. Yeah? If they, I just don't want they, them coming telling me that that's what they think. <laughs> it takes all sorts. Aladdin. Exactly. Yeah, it takes all sorts. Absolutely. Hello, Aladdin. You're not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that praise, Aladdin. Go on, put your hand up if you dare. I might let you in. <laughs> I was just about to say, actually, to Namiri, um, I was just about to ask if he's got his homework done. Because we've got a lot to catch up on, what you've been eating for the last few weeks, Namiri. Uh, we have one more. We are waiting to tell you about it. Yay! Go on. Okay, so I've turned screen sharing off. Do you want to try? Okay. Last Saturday, we went to Steakhouse restaurant. We ordered a rib steak on black stone with vegetables, bucket, bucket potato, bucket potato. Yes. Yeah, a jacket. I, I heard packet potato. Um, packet. What a jacket with a j, not a p. J. Yeah. Packet potato. Sauce, mushroom, blue cheese, and rosemary. And rosemary. And oh, nice. After salad. We drank tropical smoothie. Um, strawberry? Strawberry, yes. What, for pudding? For your dessert? Tropical. So, you ha what did you have for dessert? Strawberry tropical? Mm. Tropical smoothie. Ah, strawberry smoothie. Yes. Oh, yum. Yeah, now, is it smoothie with an IE or smoothie with a Y? I think a smoothie is with an IE, but don't quote me on that. I'm going to check. Okay. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> with Y. <laughs> no, it's with IE. It's with IE, honestly. 
Here you go. There you go. Let me prove you. Prove with I. With an I E. Um, yes. Oh, I don't want to do that. That's it. So 50 smoothies. I E S. But smoothie, singular. It's just an affectation realm. I don't, it's okay. Don't, don't be sad. It's a new word and they've messed about with the rules. <laughs> It would normally have been with an Y, but it's because it's a new word. They've gone, let's make it an IE and be really trendy and cool. Can you see it? Not yet. I'm waiting. Hang on. It should be coming in a minute. Something's coming. I hope you don't crash. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, it's, we call that on a hot stone. On a hot Can stone. You see it? Yeah, it looks cool. lovely to me. Cool. On a hot stone, like you cook it yourself. Oh, now I can see your yes. operating system. <laughs> operating system. <laughs> Blackstone, <laughs> my... <laughs> Is there a reason there? <laughs> Sorry, Oscar, what were you saying? Is there, uh, is there an eel there? Is there a fish? No, where did you think? Can you can you share that picture again, Mamiri? I I could see a kind of shape of an eel. Where? Looking at us. <laughs> Mamiri, yeah. can you share the picture again? Can you see it? No, it's gone into um, Doctor Who mode. Yeah, it's it's a steak. It was at a steakhouse, Aladdin. Two, two, two for the photo. <laughs> <laughs> Also say this. Well, I could see a jacket potato. That's what I, with a jacket potato with some, I don't know, maybe some sour cream in it. But at the moment, we can't see your picture, Namiri. We can only see um, the webinar jam. Oh, and it would be a roasted potato. Uh, Roasted potato, but that was definitely a jacket potato. Jacket, okay. Yeah. Jacket, not bucket, okay. And sometimes, Traum, we do call roasted potatoes roasties. Which is maybe where you got the idea of Can a roasted There is another picture. Can you see it? No, no, you're sharing you're sharing the wrong screen, Namiri. Screen, okay. Anyhow, whilst Namiri sorts that out, let's see if we can get Aladdin in the call. So, Aladdin, I'm inviting you in, fingers crossed, because there are five people in. Could be room for one, but sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, no, it's, it's not working, Mimiri. He's out. I don't know. Did he? Did he leave? He might have just been got started to crash and then uh, got stuck. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, either that or Aladdin's kicked him out. <laughs> mm. <laughs> On his yeah, way maybe. in, kicked maybe. him out. 
Ah, no, something's happening. Oh gosh, what's going on now? So exciting. Ah, okay, now I can see a sh I can see a picture. Yeah. But I would like to see the previous one. To yeah, I know. Something. You want to find the eel, don't you? Yeah. Uh, yes, you can see it now, Namiri. Is this um, a salad with a bind up? Sob. Sob, yes. The yellow circle one. Tuna salad. Tuna salad. Seeds. It didn't, yeah, I, I can see a lettuce, tomato, but I can see lettuce, tomato, I think uh, rice, bulgur wheat, maybe coleslaw, a pineapple, slice of pineapple, uh, some green pepper. But I'm wanting, I want to know what's in the bowl, Namiri. What's in the bowl? It looks like soup. Yeah. Soup in the salad is a bit strange. This is my this is mushroom soup. Mushroom soup with salad. I, I would yes. have the salad with the steak and the mushroom soup I would have on its own with some bread. What are the cubes in there? Bread? Bread cubes? <laughs> Aladdin, that's a very personal question. <laughs> and you wouldn't say, what is your weight? You'd say, how much do you weigh? But you wouldn't say it because it's far too personal. <laughs> that is what you call a direct question. It's a not very subtle question. Just to talk here, Aladdin. This is my way. Not, uh, not more than that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling any. I, how much I weigh is the same as how old I am. I'm not telling anybody. <laughs> so, has anybody else done something exciting this week or eaten something particularly nice? Apart from, oh, you heard what April did, didn't you, everybody? She cut her finger, <laughs> slicing bread. By, by, yes, by slicing French bread. <laughs> French bread. I blame the French, April. <laughs> well, actually, I cut my finger and it bled. I mean, it was about, I don't know, half a centimetre of a cut, but it bled profusely. You know what I cut it on? An envelope. An envelope. I was opening an envelope and it was like a blooming knife. It just sliced through my finger. I thought I'm... the envelope was booby trapped, but it wasn't. It was just a normal envelope. But it, oh, and it's hurt all week. Every time I wash my hands, every time I, I do anything, cutting chili. Oh, it's like burning. It's burning. <laughs> when you do this, I suggest wear uh, uh, gloves, wrapper gloves. <laughs> I'm not going to wear gloves when I open the mail. <laughs> I need a butler. That's what I need. <laughs> butler who opens the mail for me, puts it on a silver tray and brings it to me. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I know you say what, Aladdin, but paper cuts are really painful. We call them paper cuts, yeah? Paper cuts. They've got their own name and they're ever so painful and they it would not stop bleeding. I, I put a plaster on it and then I had to change the plaster because it was covered in blood. And it was just just the tip of my, it was exactly like you said, where your hamster bit you, April, right on my fingertip. And so awkward. Uh, even, even typing became a painful experience. <laughs> oh, stop bleeding. I feel... Uh... My my stomach journey is too. Oh, you feel queasy. You feel queasy. <laughs> yeah, I I imagine the, that uh, that uh, the cut in the finger by paper. I have done uh, that already a couple mm. of times. But now my 
the skin of my finger fingertip here it's flapping and i don't know what to do <laughs> it's, it's, it's throbbing or flapping flapping oh ah. <laughs> keep your little keep your little flappy finger to yourself <laughs> It sounds to me like you need to trim it a little bit and then put a plaster on it. Otherwise, you'll be uh -huh. catching on everything. You know it will catch on everything if you don't. Aladdin, I'm trying to invite you back in again. Okay, I think Namiri crashed, so we'll see if we can. Oops, it looks like you're already signed up as a webinar admin. How did you get signed up as an admin here, Aladdin? There's always the the message that we get Lynn, that's so weird yeah. Yeah. oh okay traum thanks a lot for coming take care and i'll see you when i'm back off holiday okay i'll probably be floating about on the forum a bit if there are any issues problems but i won't be able to do what i did today and jump in to take a session uh not not where we're going we'll be in a campsite again bye traum okay um aladdin try closing refreshing and coming back in and see what happens you're definitely not down as an admin in this session but you are an admin in other sessions so it might be that so if you can um refresh and come back in or just or close, it, close it otherwise uh, you why are you what, what are you going to buy traum oscar uh, uh, le, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's for sale, but you can have a word with her husband. <laughs> Let me see who is uh, saying bye. You. <laughs> ah, sorry, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. just having my revenge for my yaw yesterday. I know it wasn't you, but okay. it's a mistake, but you know, come on. Open season on uh, English learners after you. I wrote your Y O U apostrophe R E in last night's session, April. And uh, Zeb Tom was yeah. extremely <laughs> delighted that I made a mistake. <laughs> bye, Namiri. Bye. Bye, bye, Namiri. Thank you Look, for sharing I your lovely food. So we'll see if um, Aladdin can <laughs> jump in because uh, I do want to have a word with Aladdin um, about next what a, week. What a mistake! I just read, "Bye, guys," <laughs> and I didn't think about the the the, the right the spelling. Just the no, sound. It was it was Traum's fault. I'll um, I'll I'll admit. <laughs> save her blushes and put. Bye, guys. <laughs> but yeah, it's, ha it's how it happens. You just see it. And it's why I don't believe in um, giving people examples of bad English. You know, a lot of um, tests, they'll give, you know, correct this sentence and that kind of thing. Because I found that I remember the mistake much more easily than I do the <laughs> correct way of saying it. <laughs> Some way, some way, that's how my brain works. It latches on to the mistake, not the correct way of doing it. I, I thought I was falling behind. She was going to to get away. So I, I tried to type in quickly and, and just copy that the same <laughs> mistake without thinking. That's why it's always better to take the microphone. You can't spell things wrong on the microphone. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can. Because uh, um, Trump said also brother in love. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was nice, though. I like that. It should be brother in love. It shouldn't be brother in law. It's so cold. Yeah, brother in love, mother in love. You couldn't mm -hmm. tell mother in love jokes, could you? <laughs> By the way, do you, in your culture, do you have mother in law jokes? Are they popular? No, we have too much respect for mother-in-law. <laughs> Is that respect or fear? <laughs> or <So> fear. <laughs> ah. Well, I've found one that's from Korea, so but it's a bit rude, so I won't do that. Um, yeah, I have a spot, a soft spot for my mother-in-law. It's out in the garden behind the garage. <laughs> mm. Okay. I haven't spoken to my mother-in-law for two years. We haven't quarrelled. I just don't want to interrupt her. 
Hmm. <laughs> That's the kind of thing. So Aladdin's back. Okay, let's see. Fingers crossed, Aladdin. I'm not sure if this will work, but we will see. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh. There you go. Fingers crossed, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little adventure, isn't it? You're never quite sure what's going to happen. Oh, by the way, do have a look at the picture I've chosen. Can um, did you see? Did you take a note of the picture I've chosen for the um, Friday advanced discussion session? Because I forgot to change it, and uh, that's what I've been showing in this session. It shouldn't have been that one. I had it already set up to stream for Friday advanced discussion session. Aladdin, yay! Can I hear you? Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Okay, so now we know. That's what you need to do, April. Close. What did you have to do? Close the webinar, refresh, clear, cash? Yes. Yeah. Cash. Cash, yes. cash, cash. Cash, cash, cash. Yeah, you have to That's a, that. such a nice word, but it's a pain, yeah. when it's not the right kind of cash. <laughs> April, yeah? yeah. Aladdin, you have to, to start again from the beginning. Eh? You uh, click on yes, the, the link beginning. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I just... know that. Okay, good to know that it would actually work. I don't know why, but it seems to be only when Bye. there's five people in the room, you're invited in, you don't get in, somebody leaves, because that's what happened with you, wasn't it? Monique left to make room for you. And mm -hmm. then they, you weren't able to get in anyway because it told you, told you you were already in. So it is a case of close it down, refresh the cache, come back in like it's brand new. So yeah. anyway, Aladdin, how are you? Oh, what happened? Hi, Aladdin. I think I'm just, I'm just um, screen sharing. Aladdin, are you there? Hi, Aladdin. Can you hear me? Hello. Oh, hello. What happened? You you crashed or you unplugged no, no, yourself? No, no. My, 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 the mic, I think. I ah, okay. So how are you? Fine. <laughs> it's good. I've done a new fad poster thing for this one, the Friday Advanced Discussion Session. So, uh, <laughs> I wondered what you were, because I wasn't able to share it because I had to run the session myself on my laptop. But what do you think? It's quite good, isn't it? Have, do you all know this story? No. no. That... Oh, gosh, this is the elephant story. Okay. Um, okay. It's about a group of people who have to describe an elephant. Okay. So, um, it's, an old, it's an old story. I think it's actually all around um, the internet. It's all over the place. Uh, now, I'm just trying to find the story. Okay. So, yes, a group yeah. of blind story. men, yeah, there's a group of blind men touching an elephant to try and find out, work out what it is. But each one feels a different part, but only one part. So, one can feel the tusk, one can feel the trunk, one can feel the side, one can feel the leg, one can feel the tail. Uh, you get the idea. One can feel the ears. Okay. And then they compare notes. And they cannot agree <laughs> what they're touching, mm. of course. <laughs> it's uh, and, it's a and, very clever thing. And why do you choose this picture with story for fat? What do you think about <laughs> this? <then? laughs> well, it's a discussion, isn't it? You have to discuss, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> But I'm not allowed to 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 join to participate, Aladdin. Uh, Why? Ala Lin Lin doesn't uh, Lin is, uh, doesn't allow me because no, I'm I'm only, around. <laughs> I'm <laughs> only an absolute <laughs> beginner. <laughs> <laughs> I can only join your session, <laughs> so that is. That means that your session is for absolute beginners, Aladdin. Yes, my session is uh, <laughs> for everyone, not only for absolute beginner. <laughs> <laughs> and there is the absolute beginner session for you, April. Okay, so here you go. Let's do a little bit of reading, which is what 
I would have done if um, if I'd been able to run it on my computer. Okay. April, would you like to read the first two paragraphs, please? Can you see it? Okay. Is it yeah. big enough? Yeah. Yeah, it's big enough. Excellent. Once, once, upon a, once upon a time, there lived six blind men in a village. One day, the villagers told them, Hey, there is an elephant in the village today. They had no idea what an elephant is. They decided, even though we would not be able to see it, let us go and feel it anyway. All of them went where the elephant was. Everyone was uh, every one of them touched the the elephant. Very good. Okay, Oscar, if you would like to read the End next of the story. <laughs> no, no, the next bit. <laughs> sure. Oscar. Hey, the elephant is a pillar said the first man who touched his leg. Oh no, it's like a rope, said the second man who touched the tail. Oh no, it is like a thick branch of a tree, said the third man who touched the trunk of the elephant. <clears throat> it is like a big hand fan, said the fourth man who touched the ear of the elephant. Very good, well done. Pillar, by the way, just pillar. Pillar. Pillar, yeah, not pillow, pillar. Okay. Okay. And Aladdin. Uh, hang on a second. Okay. Aladdin, if you'd like to read that bit. It's like a huge wall. It's like a solid pipe. Uh, instead, uh, uh, yeah, you're breaking up, Aladdin. I think the one word I caught, I think, was meant to be insisted, not instead, insisted. Every one of them insisted. In fact, I'll put every one rather than every one of them. Every one of them. But can you hear Aladdin, Oscar? Not really. No, it, it actually sounds like a loose wire connection, Aladdin. Not a connection. Connection? connection. Is, that, is that good now? That's better, yeah. Do you want to start okay. again? Okay. Yes. From. Uh, right. Now it's gone again, yeah. It's definitely it's... Got... Don't touch your wires, okay? <laughs> I can hear you very well. But I think it's... Uh... What... Yeah, you're completely breaking up, Aladdin. Every mm. so often it's okay and then it's gone. It's mute. Really does sound like a wire connection, not a not an internet connection to me, doesn't it, you guys? Because it's got that crackling, rattling sound like a loose wire. What about now? That sounds better. Yes, but then it did before as well. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. I'll cross my fingers. Okay, I've got my I've got both fingers crossed. Okay, give it a go. Okay, they began to argue about the elephant, and every one of them insisted that he was right it looked like they were getting agitated a wise agitated. man who agitated. Agitated. agitated agitated a wise man was passing by and he saw this he stopped and asked them what is the matter they said we cannot agree to what the elephant is like each one of them told what he thought the elephant was like. How do you think the blind, the wise man was able to resolve this dispute? 
I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to guess? <laughs> yeah, I want you to guess. How could he resolve this dispute? Each of them is convinced that they're right. So how could he resolve it? Any ideas? He's a wise man. He's a wise man, I'm not wise. <laughs> <laughs> I would hate to be wise. <laughs> You just don't by, pay me enough to be wise. Oscar, yeah? Yeah, just by letting them describe it and then... Well, they have described it, but they've got to agree amongst themselves. Yeah, they're arguing and arguing, each one convinced that the other, that they're right and everyone else is wrong. April? If, if I were the, the wise man, I would say, okay, you, all, you are all right. You are all correct. Put them together and you will have the elephant. Exactly. So, yes. April, as a prize, you get to read the rest of the story. Oh, it's, yeah, it's correct. <laughs> so, I'm I very told you wise. You wise. I told you you were wise. <laughs> Go on. Oh, hang uh, on a second. Let me just make it a bit bigger. Okay, there you are. Because I don't want to hurt anybody, so I will say, you are all right. <laughs> that is... Uh, the wise man calmly explained to them, Ah, all of you are right. The reason every one of you is telling it differently because each one of you touched the different part of the, the elephant. So actually the elephant has all those features what you all said. Oh, everyone said there was no more fight. They felt happy that they were all right. The moral of the story is that there may be some truth to what someone says. Sometimes we can see that, that truth and sometimes not because they may have different perspective which we may not agree to. So rather than arguing like the blind man, we should say, maybe you have your reasons. This way we don't get in arguments. Very famous illustration. They use it a lot in business. Okay. By the way, why did you change allows to allows? It's allows. Oh, it did allow. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean about always remembering the wrong one. <laughs> you went allows and I was like, yeah, and then you went allows and I went, no. <laughs> But yeah, this is this story, which I just pulled off the internet and I realized, oh dear, I should have proofread that. But anyhow, it doesn't matter. This story is very famous and a lot of business um, people will use it as a metaphor for seeing the bigger picture and actually understanding other people's perspective and other people's point of view. But I love the story because, uh, and I love this little illustration, which was free on the internet, by the way, Pixabay, thank you. Because uh, the, the elephant's not bothered at all. The elephant knows he's an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any questions before we finish for today? In fact, oh, no, before we finish, we need just very quickly, um, I need to do the forum countdown. Dee, 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 dee. Hang on, there you go. So... Today's forum countdown. Who would like to volunteer? Don't all jump at once. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Oscar, that was a volunteer, yeah? <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I definitely, that was definitely your voice I heard. I'm sure it's I cannot deny. Yes. <laughs> With, uh, invitation. Now you see how, how much how much it helps when I tell you, mute your mic, because otherwise you get caught out. Go on, Oscar, give it a go. From the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom. And okay. if you notice, there is a joint position here in the middle. Okay, you've got two lots of people with 24 points. Okay. So from that one? Not from no, the no, when you get to that one. Ah, okay, yeah, 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 sorry. Not like, there's not 10, okay. there's not 10 levels, there's nine, okay, because there's a joint. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this week's uh, tenth, in 10th tenth position, we have Mohit Sain with 18 points. And above that, we have in ninth position, Zom with 20, 21 points. Then we have Renan Williami with 24, 22 points and in the 
sixth, sixth position, we have Jay Hoy, 16, with 24 points. Have you crashed, Oscar? Are you? Is your brain no. crashed? Okay, you've got to have this. It's not just joy; it's oh. their joint position. Yeah, see. Okay. Okay. So in joint sixth position, in joint sixth. No seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh. In seventh position, we have joy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Because because we don't have ten, we have nines. That's yeah. where we start. Yeah. You are going to end up with at the top in second position and you're gonna wonder where's top position. <laughs> because it's a joint position. I knew Aladdin wouldn't be able to just let it go. <laughs> okay, anyway. Joint six. Joint with twenty four points. Ninth, eighth, seventh, sixth. Okay. <laughs> okay. In sixth in sixth position, uh close to Close to Lynn is Meherich with 24 points. And? No, I'm going, I'm coming from the bottom to the top. Yes, yeah, so three, four, five. in sixth position, we have sixth. Joy and, and Marion, yes. Meherich is Marion, with 24 ah. points, because they've both okay. got 24 points, yeah? Ah. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Yes. That's okay. That's why this is why it's good practice. <laughs> okay. Okay, so try it with um hang six. on. In six yeah. in sixth position we have Joy, sixteen and hemorrhage with twenty four points. And in fifth position, we have Ling with 25 points. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> wow, 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 yeah. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Fourth. Ah, okay. In fourth position, we have Mona with 29 points. And followed by in third position, uh, we are in the, I don't know how to say, in the third position, uh, Vida 1992 with 30 points. And in the second position, we have May K with 35 posi uh, points. And the winner, the leader for this week is Paulette with 37 points. Well done. Wow, well done, Paulette. <laughs> Very good. Well done. <laughs> I should get some background music. What is it called? It stands for the three first position. I don't remember yeah, in now. The top three. In the top sure. three. In oh. the top three. I, I mean, where the three uh, go get in, no, get on top of that to get their medals. What, what's the name of that? Oh, the podium. A podium, yeah. Yeah, the podium where they podium. stand. You mean you've got three, two, yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, that's the podium, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, that's Good it. question. <laughs> Not something I've had much experience of standing on podiums. <laughs> well, this is the podium, the three big guys. Podium. Right <laughs> yeah, we, you'd call it the winner's podium. So, you mean, um, let's have a look. Uh, no, I can't use that one. That's a. Uh, This week's podium is occupied by these three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done, guys. Well done. And nicely read, Oscar. Okay, thank any, you. <laughs> any questions before we finish for the... Um, and let me close that one down. Let's go back to... Uh, where's my... TGIF one. Ah, there it is. There you go. So go back to TGIF. <laughs> Just so not to confuse people. I thought this was meant to be TGIF. No, it's FADS. No, it's TGIF. I don't even know where I am at the moment. I need a break. <laughs> so I will be away, as you know, for the next couple of weeks, but I'll be around on the forum. If you get stuck or anything's not working the way it should, just let me know in a private message or in one of the groups. I should see it. Make sure you use the at 
um, so that I get a message to say I have been mentioned. I'm more likely to see the message then, but private message will always get to me and um, have fun. As I say, um, most of the sessions will be on Skype, of course, but, and this is one for Aladdin. Um, Aladdin, are you there still? Yes, I'm here. Stay yeah, here. okay. Oh, Zom's going to get in touch with you because she's going to run TGIZ. Not, I don't think it's next week. She sent me some dates. Uh, it'll be the week after. Okay. okay. And so she's going to run TGIZ and uh, would like you to join her because you make a great <laughs> pair. <laughs> you make a good team. You make a good team. And they'll also, she'll be running in Kitely, not next week, the week after, um, a 20 questions quiz in the pub. Okay. So, but I'll put Thursday. it on. On the Thursday night, yeah, on the Thursday evening. I'll put it in the calendar. I haven't done it yet, so keep an eye on the calendar. And, uh, okay. and as I say, Marion will be running Monday, Wednesday, and Friday sessions in Skype. Okay? Great. Great. Cool. So lots going on. And, of course, there'll be um, the English Escape to English session. Club. Yeah, Escape the Escape Club. There'll be the uh, Natasha's sessions uh, will be running yeah. as well. And Aladdin sessions. Yes, Aladdin. Are you going to get yes. stuck again or? <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. I wasn't uh, sure when you meant I'm, I'm I didn't sorry. survive. I wasn't sure what you meant. I didn't. I was like, I was a bit worried. And I thought, well, I'm sure you'd let me know if something was terribly wrong. I didn't survive. What does that mean? <laughs> I didn't survive to get uh, in, at my uh, home early. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's not not surviving. That's just I didn't manage. Okay. I didn't manage survive, man. <laughs> yes. Survive from traffic. Survive. You're watching too much Walking Dead. <laughs> oh. okay. I didn't survive. Yeah. It's like I'm lying squashed in the middle of the road. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. Okay, Oscar. Yeah, just, just to tell you that uh, enjoy your break and uh, thank you for, for your help. Thank you. Well you're done. Welcome. Oh, no, you, you're well done. You do all the hard work. This is easy <laughs> for me. <laughs> okay, take care, everybody. Thanks a lot. Bye, 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 Oscar. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Date. Um, <laughs> I think you're relatively okay. Just don't click on anything that looks suspicious or that's from somebody you don't know. And even if it's from somebody you know, but it's not the sort of thing they normally send you, don't click on anything. It's just oh. a shame. It takes it, the it fun happened, out of the internet. It happened just, uh, it was uh, last Friday when the, the, the uh, WannaCry ransomware broke out. I think out. that's when it broke out, yeah. yeah. And the next day I got a, an email from uh, the daughter of a friend of mine she lives in America, but she never sent me any, any mails. And suddenly I got it. And it said um, an invitation for the, uh, for the birthday of uh, her mother, so my friend then, for her mother in October. So I think uh, I, I didn't think of the virus at that moment. So I click on that invitation and it didn't open. And then at that moment I said, Oh, maybe it's maybe this is a virus. This is maybe the water crash. That's the awful <laughs> thing, isn't it? They're, they're taking all the fun out of being online. It's like muggers taking all the fun out of going out at night, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was uh, uh, true last week after the problem with uh, the water cry, uh, my my computer was very uh, yeah strange. Every time I had to click twice before I can open the site or or something else. So I was thinking, oh, maybe I was affected, but now it's okay again. But uh, that time, uh, also uh, just a, a website from the newspaper, it didn't open. And normally it's open in, uh, in, uh, at once. Yeah, you uh, might find that other websites are being affected. Um, uh, if, okay. not, if not, that they're updating the systems. And We had a message, uh, we've had our server updated. Uh, nothing we could do about it. We couldn't say, no, we don't want you to. And I've had loads of messages, you know, update this, update that. So the whole of the internet's in a bit of a tiz at the moment, trying to 
I don't think fix this ransomware thing, but trying to make sure it doesn't actually get any further. But, uh, yeah, it's it was. Oh, I can't believe. I, I couldn't believe. Well, I could believe it. Of course, you can believe anything. Of, uh, folks so affected, do you? Well, I know that. <clears throat> well, at the moment, because of what happened this week um, and the big hack all across the world, really, and it was a worldwide hack, wasn't it? That there's a lot of messages going out. But that that sounds suspicious in itself to me. I hope you didn't click on anything. Watch out. Yeah. Are you getting the same warning sort of feeling I am, Oscar? <laughs> Don't no, click on anything. No. <laughs> but you must always be suspicious about those kind of uh, 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 messages hi, taking you? advantage of the situation, actual oh. current situation. Hello, Namiri. Uh, you. You. Finally. Thank you. <laughs> <Excellent. laughs> <laughs> It took you long enough to get here, but you made it, which is great. We're just talking about April's scary message on her laptop. Um, the best thing to do is to ignore any buttons or links in the message and then run your um, virus scanner <laughs> and go to any messages it's, or any updates yourself. Update your drivers, update your operating system, but do it manually. Don't trust messages through your computer at this moment in time. I generally think, as, to be honest, April, this particular hack has been aimed at older computers that are still running what they call legacy systems. Do you know what a legacy system is? In the computer, no? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's often linked to... Yeah. Yes, it is, it is also in the iPhone, laptop, all... all um, uh, electronic. Yeah, yeah, everything. But yeah, everything wanna cry. The, the the reason it was so effective in the um, NHS is a lot of NHS equipment, so scanners and um, heart monitors and things like that, they're still running on old software and it's really expensive. You can do updates, of course, for operating systems, but to replace a whole scanner just for the updated operating system, you know, that's a huge financial burden. So they are running a lot of these older computers. I think, April, if you're keeping your computer up to date, and I know you do, you complained the other week, 15 minutes of up. Noodle, 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 as usual. Good afternoon. Welcome to TGIF. <coughs> So I hope you can hear me coughing away. I've been talking too much. I shouldn't have done this afternoon's session. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tram, you've just asked, hi, Lynn, it was yesterday, am I right? What was yesterday and what are you trying to be right about? <laughs> you asked me if I hang up. And you, yes, and from, from, you, from this afternoon's really, session. <laughs> you should have written that you mean the, uh, our last uh, Skype session. No, no, no. From from today's Skype session, yeah. Yes. 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 Did you hang up? And uh, yeah, and uh, I am. I'm. Um, also, it it can't be me. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> Good. April, have you checked? Is somebody still on the call? Yeah, it's still it's still green. It's still oh, uh, no. yeah, it's still open. Yeah. Well, I've hung up, so it's not me. I've, I've actually disconnected Skype because I'm on this session now, so I don't want to use up my bandwidth. Oh, well, we'll never know. So, Namiri, I tried to invite you in before. Um, it didn't work, but I'll try to invite you in again, okay? So, fingers crossed, everybody. See what happens. Anyway, it's TGIF, it's Friday, and we've got a new um, sign, if you notice. Can anybody read out what the new sign says? Three, two, yeah. one, weekend. Yay! <laughs> and not Thank just you. weekend, this is countdown to my holiday. I'm on holiday next week and the week after. Keep an eye on the calendar. Calendar. Like, calendar. Lucky you. Yeah, I know. Well, um, 
it's not on the calendar yet because we were sorting out the details last night, uh, Zom and I in Speakeasy. And hopefully Zom is going to be running uh, at least one quiz in Kitely. So 20 questions, yeah. And a TGIZ, not a TGIF session, a TGIZ session. But keep an eye on the calendar. I'll put the links in there once we've sorted out the dates because I got a bit confused um, and so did Zom. But she sent me an email. I just haven't had time to read it and change the calendar yet. So I'll do that before I go away. But, uh, and if anybody else wants to step in to run a session, uh, please say I. Um, keep an eye on the calendar also for Marion sessions uh, because she'll be taking three sessions next week and the week after. So Monday morning, Wednesday evening and hopefully Friday afternoon if she gets her mess sorted out. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Uh, you know, what happened with me the last 20 minutes after the Skype? I cut what? my finger. No. Yeah. A, a, a little bit about a, a little bit of skin of the skin on my thumb. Uh, uh, cutting the French bread. Oh no, your hummus and bread. Yeah. Oh and bless then, you. I and then I wanted to use the, my other laptop. I think I have opened it uh, the last uh, few days and I got a message from the advanced system care that is I think some kind of uh, firewall from uh, from uh, somewhere I don't know I got it from uh, the uh, original originally when I bought the laptop and it says uh, massive ransomware breaks out uh, and then the, uh, with the uh, great big big uh frightening letters oh. and, uh, yeah and then it said uh, uh, uh protect yourself from wanna cry ransomware uh um, update your windows firewall and fix some something like that but it doesn't i i hope it doesn't mean that i was but um yeah it was a disappointing moment for humanity, shall we put it that way? <laughs> well, uh, it's a, unfortunately, it's a very common uh, a thing that happens. Uh, in, I, uh, I idea. If, we, if we take this virus, how to fix it? Okay, so, yeah, one at, one at a time. Oscar, you were saying? Yeah, that these uh, kind of attacks are very common but we don't know about them because uh, they don't affect as much as many people as uh, this last one but this is very very common and well uh, the, the main point to to take into account is not to open any messages from uh, unknown senders and don't follow any links and don't open any um i don't know how to say attachment. files attachment yes those are the main recommendations yeah yes it's sad but it's true um it looks like why do they do that uh in what why do they do what april why do they do ransomware or why do they hack computers? Money. Yeah, it's why do they money. hack computer? Yeah. Why do they? <laughs> Ma money, 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 money. It makes the world go round, didn't you know? <laughs> I wonder how many, they, uh, how many money, how much money they uh, they earned the last uh, few weekend because uh, every time they had, they were, they asked for three hundred dollars in Bitcoin, three hundred dollars. Yeah, seemingly, seemingly. But um, I don't know how much they actually made out of it. I doubt we'll ever know because if they made a lot, they won't um, tell anybody uh, because they won't, you know, the powers that be won't want that information out in case it encourages other people to think, hey, that's a great way of uh, making money. Um, and if they didn't make much, they won't tell anybody because they wouldn't want to look foolish. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's a difficult but one. Lynn, not only money. Mo uh, most of the hardest 